Journalism can be a risky profession, but many feel the risk is worth the reward. There are certain truths that, and certain ideals that are worth dying for. The story is either you die for or you come back alive. We need to witness both the glories and the horrors of what takes place in this world. In 1993, journalists Anthony Macharia, Dan Eldon, Hoss Miner and Hansi Kraus were murdered by a mob in Mogadishu, Somalia. Three of the four were working for the Reuters news agency, Hansi Kraus for the Associated Press. The war-torn city had been reduced to a shell of its former self after tribal warlords took over and started seizing relief food supplied by the United Nations. Abdul Rahman was working with the deceased. The US used their B-52. They bombed that place and killed a lot of Somalis. So when the first batch reached that place, the first journalists were Anthony, Mohamed Shafi, uh, Hosmaina, and Dan Eldon. After they started rolling tape, the mob that was angered by the killings of more than 70 people set upon them with rocks, clubs, and guns. Mohamed Shafi survived when an unknown Somali gave him refuge in his truck while he was being chased. Dan Eldon's father remembers the close relationship he had with his son try as much as possible to focus on the good memories of that person, the positive relationship, and see how that can continue being the source of an ongoing re relationship with the spirit of that person and as an inspiration to your future life. The Committee to Protect Journalists, the CPJ, fights for media freedom and works with leaders and international organizations in the quest for a free press. According to the CPJ, 1,005 journalists have been killed worldwide since 1992. In 2013 alone, as of September 7th, 61 journalists and one media worker have been killed. Countries such as Algeria, Rwanda, Sierra Leone and Somalia appear in the top 20 list of the most dangerous places for journalists worldwide. On average, the CPJ says that 30 journalists are killed every year globally and their murderers go unpunished in nearly 9 out of 10 cases. John Allen Namu is an investigative journalist in one of the leading media houses in Kenya. He is reported from the front line in Somalia. Even his work at home has led to threats on his life. Despite the danger, there really is a higher calling um, in journalism that we need to be faithful to as reporters. And um, I, I, I salute all the people who have died telling stories around the world, but I do not feel dissuaded from being a journalist, rather I feel encouraged. A free and fair press has always been a target for governments, tyrants and criminals. Journalists reporting on corruption, organized crime, conflict and politics are targeted for exposing sensitive truths. Government bodies have been pressured to offer protection to members of the fourth estate, but this sometimes proves futile. Many times we are critical of these same institutions because that's our job. We are supposed to reflect what is wrong with our society. When Somalia was in chaos and the U.S. forces landed in 1992 to try and stabilize the situation, Anthony, Dan, Hoss and Hansi and other members of the international press were there to tell this story. Four months after they were murdered, it was the U.S. forces that met with tragedy. The Black Hawk Down disaster brought Somalia's turmoil to the world. It was a 17-hour firefight with General Mohammed Farah Aidid's men, which resulted in the killing of 18 U.S. soldiers, leaving 84 wounded. Aidid was a controversial Somali military leader who was the main target of Operation Restore Hope. 
More than 1,000 Somalis were also killed. For some journalists, the situation has not improved since the CPJ gave out its first list in 1992. In Abdul's life, the events left a mark. It's 20 years now since they passed away, but I um, still remember them. Uh, how we used to work together and uh, how they were killed. It was terrible for me. The career sound man never stopped going to work in Somalia. Because journalism is in my blood and uh, I've seen lots of people running away from journalism because of the danger. The CPJ rates the West Bank, Colombia, Afghanistan, Eritrea, Belarus, Burma, Zimbabwe, Iran, Kyrgyzstan and Cuba as the worst places for journalists to work in. While a few are conflict zones, many of the journalists face risks because of authoritarian governments. In Syria, the DRC and Iraq, conflicts rage on. But brave men and women continue to go there to bring the stories, however dangerous, to the world's attention, often hoping they can make a contribution to peace in the future. But some, like Anthony, Dan, Hoss and Hansi, have already made their contribution and are at peace.